volt DC motor draws a current of 100 ampere and it's and is located 1,000 feet from the supply source. If the diameter of the copper transmission line is 0.45 inch, what must be the voltage of the supply? So, makakatulong pong i-drawing natin itong problem na to. No? Kasi it involves a load. Tapos yung transmission line natin, which is a copper, okay, uh, kailangan natin i-identify na meron yung uh, resistance din. So, drawing muna lang din. So, meron tayong source, okay? Meron tayong source. Drawing muna natin, yung circuit natin. Okay, let's say ito yung motor. May motor load tayo. Motor load. Tapos meron tayo. Okay, tagala. Meron tayong source. B sub S, which is unknown. Yun yung required. Eh. What must be the for the source, tapos meron tayo uh, nilagyan kong resistance yung ating tapos 100 ampere okay, bakit may resistance yung ating wire? okay, una we have a 120 uh, volt DC motor, so positive negative, positive negative so 100 uh, volt yung ating uh, rating ng ating motor, so across the motor ang ating, ano dyan, ang rating niya, ang measurement ng voltage dyan ay 120 volts. So, it draws a current 100 ampere. So, it draws a current 100 ampere, okay, which is located 1,000 feet from the supply source. So, pwede na natin isulat yung ibang mga given. Okay, so, ang length ng ating wire papunta dun sa motor from the source is 1,000 feet. Okay, if the diameter of the copper transmission line, ito, itong copper, yung green na yan, yung copper transmission line na yan, okay, the diameter is 0 0.45 inch, what must be the supply? Okay, voltage supply. So, meron tayong source, meron tayong load na motor, magdodraw siya ng current sa ating uh, system, sa ating source na 100 ampere. Ngayon, yung ating... Uh, copper transmission line, yung magdudugtong sa ating circuit, meron kasi yung resistance din. Okay? Bakit merong resistance? Kung maaalala nyo yung pinakita ko yung mga resistivity value sa table, so kasama yung copper. Okay? So kapag nagpo-compute tayo na voltages, yung mismong wire natin, okay, ay merong resistance. Kailangan isama din natin siya sa computation, lalo na sa mga ganitong problem na required siyang hanapin. But if not stated, wala namang sinabi about the transmission line or yung wires natin. So, ininiglat natin siya. But this time, kasama siya. Okay, kailangan daw natin malaman yung voltage source. So, based on the figure, again, yung R ko dito is yung resistance ng ating uh, wire, yung copper wire. Okay, based from the figure, mag o na lang tayo. Okay, mag-loop lang tayo dyan. So, positive, negative. So, negative V sub S is equal, ay, negative V sub S plus, okay, ito yung current natin, ay, okay, ay, yung mag-flow sa ating system, ay, 100 ampere. So, yung voltage drop across doon sa ating wire is 100 ampere times yung kanyang resistance. So, plus, ay, R, Okay, and then plus, plus yung uh, voltage ng motor natin. So, pangalanan na lang natin siyang V sub, V sub S, V sub L. Okay, let's say this is V sub L, yung voltage drop across dun sa load natin, motor. Okay, ayan, equal zero. Our plank curve caps law lang to. So, ang required V sub S, so that is IR or Pwede unahin na natin yung V sub L plus I R. So, ito yung magiging equation natin. Ano pa ba ang kulang natin dyan? Okay. Meron na tayo current na mag-flow sa system. Meron na tayo yung Meron tayong V sub L. Okay. Ang current, V sub Ang wala na lang natin is R. Paano natin makukuha yan? Okay. Una, para kay R, 
given yung L and diameter, length and diameter. So, pwede natin gamitin yung rho L over A. Okay, length is 1,000 feet. Diameter is 0.45 inches. So, pwede natin gamitin yung in terms of circular mean na lang. Provided that alam natin yung uh, rho or resistivity for copper in terms of circular mean. So, from table, that is 10.37 okay, ohm circular mil per feet. Ayan. I-capital yun na. Circular mil per feet ito. Baka maaling na. So, C capital M. Okay. So, ang kailangan na lang natin is to get diameter in terms of mil okay, for every for every inch there is 1,000 mil. Okay, tandaan nyo tong conversion factor na to. Okay? 1 inch is equal to 1,000 mil. So, yung diameter natin So, that is equivalent to 450 mil. Kailangan natin area. Okay? Okay. So, therefore, circular mil area is D square which is circular mil, d square is 450 mil, mil square, circular mil is, okay, after the circular mil, ang, ano, no? dapat area ang nilagay ko. Anyway, this is also equal to area, no? Lagay natin, baka area, therefore area is equal to circular mil. 450 Square is 202 500 cm. And circular mid. Okay, completo na. Meron na tayong length. Length ba is in feet? Yes. Kasi ang ano natin resistivity is per feet. Area is in terms of circular mid. So, mga pasa na yan. And given a resistivity. Okay, so R. So, dito na muna natin lagay. Okay. And R is equal to So, R is equal to rho. Rho is 10.37 of circular mil per feet multiplied by the length which is 1000 feet divided by the area in circular mil para siyang cm capital ayan so unit analysis tayo cancel out tapos yung feet matitira is in ohm so the resistance in terms of ohm is 0 0.10 to 4 ohms ayan maliit lang kasi ganyan naman talaga sa wire. Maliit lang talaga yung resistance niya. So, mumultiply mo yan, gano'ng kahaba yung wire. So, kapag mahaba, mas marami yung uh, mas malaki. Kapag mahaba yung wire, mas malaki yung total resistance niya. Kapag gano'n, mas malaki yung drop, yung voltage drop dun sa ating uh, system. Okay? Or, I mean, yun, mas malaki yung voltage drop dun sa ating system. Okay, substitute natin. Let's say this is A. Substitute to A. Okay, V sub S is equal to V sub L plus I R. Okay, V sub S is equal to what is V sub L? The load of the motor. Kung ano yung uh, voltage drop sa motor. Plus ano yung current? 100 ampere. Times ano yung resistance? 0. 10 to 4. Okay, 0.10 to 4 na yun for, for 1,000 feet. Take note, ha? So, for 1,000 feet, 0. 0.10, 24 ohms lang yung ating resistance. So, V sub S is equal to 130.24 volts. So, this is our answer for problem number 6.